What's up, man? It's Phil X. Ow! Coming back from a hiatus. It's been a couple of months. Uh, I don't. I can't. I can't remember how many times somebody has said, "Hey, man, can you guys do an explore?" So we aim to please. So here it is. It's a 1978. The only Explorer I've ever seen with three pickups. And it's actually really special. It's also not Carina wood, which uh, Explorers were for the longest time. It's mahogany. And uh, it's got all kinds of gold all over it. Uh, an extra pick guard because it's got the three pickups. Uh, it does something really special with this middle switch. It's got a push pull. It's got a, uh, a gold uh, truss rod cover. And uh, it's smoking. <laughs> So uh, let's see, I also want to mention that these are two Series 7 pickups, which are lower output. The middle pickup is a patent number uh, pickup, as opposed to a PAF. Yeah. OK, so um, in 1958 to 1963, they made the first batch of Explorers, and then they stopped for a while. And then they started up again in 1978, 1976. And this is a 1978. So uh, let's get into it. But I want to show you something. This is a, uh, I'm in the box AC30 for the clean tone. and. This is what you get. Yeah! That's all. That's all the clean we get. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just check it out. right now check this out man well I'll give you the middle pickup too and then the treble pickup now check it out this shit, man it's get, it gets crazy now this is a push pull and when I push it when I pull it out and do that playing a beat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you get a really cool strat tone. It's these two pickups. Uh, it sounds like they're both single coil and doing that strat thing. Check, check. <laughs> and in here, when you're in the middle position, you get these two pickups doing that thing. It just sounds like the neck pickup in normal. Yeah. So that's the pickup configuration of this monster right here. And uh, here is your Explorer. Now we're going to go to the EVR. That's the evil robot. EC30. This black thing down here. <laughs> uh, sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> Everybody's gonna go, what was that song? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just kinda off the cuff of it. Off the cuff of it? Yeah! Uh, man, I don't know, Every, I'm thinking of everybody who plays in Explorer, and I'll get to some Explorer players, but this sounds like. <laughs> now, this is Stranglehold by Ted Nugent, and he never played in Explorer, but you know what? I've been seeing that song in a whole ton of movies lately. Anytime somebody's getting sexy, they're playing like. <laughs> A while. Well, I don't know where they come from, but they show me a cow. I hope they come out me. And I don't know how they came, but they show me a cow. You know, I don't pray. They give me cat scratch fever. All right, 
Now, wait, wait, scorpions. <laughs> Lost my pick. Get into the neck pickup, man. EV, 30 sounds. Pretty crazy. That's the neck pickup. This is the middle pickup. Travel pickup. I need a little more gain there. Get it right, Phil. Change that crazy in there. Uh, Wait, let me try that again. <laughs> Craziest key chain modulation in the history of songwriting. Okay, maybe not in the history of songwriting, but pretty damn close. So, uh, let's do some more scorpions. <laughs> yeah, yeah! This guitar and the evil robot C30. Kick ass! <laughs> I got it set on 18 watts because I don't want to be too loud in this room. It still sounds awesome. And, uh, man, they covered it. But, anyways, it's Phil X, man. Thanks for coming out! I mean, hanging out! I mean, checking out! <laughs> Mar? Bye! Everybody, bye. Everybody.